Welcome, dear listener, to Spirituality in the Brain. I'm Vanessa Salone, your host, and this segment is all about the latest findings of neuroscience and the teachings of Spiritism. Today we're talking about early life stress and its lasting impacts on the brain. For children, stress can go a long way, says the article in ScienceDaily.com on June 27, 2014. A little bit of stress provides a platform for learning, adapting and coping, but a lot of stress, chronic toxic stress like poverty, neglect and physical abuse can have lasting negative impacts. A team of University of Wisconsin Madison researchers recently showed these kinds of stressors experienced in early life might be changing the parts of the developing children's brains responsible for memory, learning and the processing of stress and emotion. These changes may be tied to negative impacts on behavior, health, employment and even the choice of romantic partners later in life. The study published in the journal Biological Psychiatry could be important for public policy leaders, economists and epidemiologists, among others. Early life stress has been tied before to depression, anxiety, heart disease, cancer and a lack of educational and employment success. Why early life stress may lead to smaller brain structures is unknown. And as Dr. Pollack says, for me it's an important reminder that as a society we need to attend to the types of experiences children are having. We're shaping the people these individuals will become. Fascinating, dear listener, here we have neuroscience bringing to us firsthand a most important teaching that you're going to read in a spirit book, the gospel according to spiritism, and everywhere else in the spiritist literature, the importance of childhood, and how the spirit counts on that first seven years to prepare itself for the success of our reincarnation. So, Dear listener, don't take it for granted. If you're planning to save for college for your kid, okay, good job. But don't forget, the first seven years of life are much, much more important than any college because these are the years in which you're going to shape up the personality and the mental life of your very child. It's scary in a way if we don't know what we're doing. But on the other hand, it is also very hopeful because, think about it, you have a 100% potential to form the mind of a good citizen, of a good person, a good individual, be a good educator, as a parent, as an educator yourself, make sure that you contribute with beautiful example to the lives of your children and the children of others as well. Think about it. Meditate. If you want to know more about this, please write to us at cardiacreator.com. We have a contact form. We'll be happy to listen from you. In the meantime, please keep feeling the blessings of God always.